Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to a uh, spotlight slash quick look of My Heroes 1 Justice. Pretty dumb and stupid that they didn't put the academia in it because, I don't know, Japan's Japan and they're stupid. So is Namco Bandai. Anyways, or Bandai Namco, however the fuck you want to pronounce it. Anyways, this game, I don't know how to talk about it. <laughs> um... There is definitely a feeling of hype and excitement, even though I'm not one of those people who want to, yeah, all aboard the hype train, right? You know that bullshit? Um, but there's also a feeling of, like, both jank and fucking just super basic anime-ass game. And by that, like, when this game was announced, my first thought was, my god, this game is gonna be the most basic of basic, it is gonna be... Although it's made by, like, what, the people who did Gunslinger Stratos, right? Some shit like that? Fucking, I'm like, it's gonna be basic anime arena fighter, nothing's gonna be balanced, people are gonna find ways to cheat and stuff like that and play online, so I'm just gonna avoid the online, I'm still gonna buy the game to hope that we get better My Hero games, kinda get the Dragon Ball Fighters treatment. I hate saying that because I don't want to be the guy who's all like, man, every game should be made by Platinum and Arxis. But, you know, fucking, sometimes... You know, things are popular for a reason. Just like the anime, My Hero Academia. I love this anime so much that I I go online, I read all the manga online, and even though I'm way far ahead of the story than the fucking seasons for the anime and stuff like that, I still buy the fucking manga. Like, I'm caught up on the manga releases. Like, I also have volume 16 and 17 up for pre-order already. Like, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Right? So, I'm gonna collect all those pongas because this game is game. This series, My Hero Academia, is actually really good. And even though there's a lot of comparisons to like Naruto and stuff like that, because there's your basic Shoujin anime and stuff like that. Shoujin? Shoujin, right? Yeah, Shoujin. Um, not Shoujin. Shonen, my bad. Your basic Shonen anime, fucking. It's kind of like Zelda Breath of the Wild, where it's like. Everyone done this already, but when you do it, you do it so perfectly, right? But, um, I wanted to do a full playthrough of this game. I'm on the menu for so long. I wanted to do a full playthrough of this game, depending on, because when it was announced, I was like, without a doubt, I already know how basic this game is going to be, right? Like, it's going to be your basic anime shit, but I didn't expect it to be so fucking basic that it's just so lazy in a bunch of ways, but the gameplay itself is actually really fun despite having, like, maybe four to five, like, problems with it. And so basically, this is the, uh, the, for example, you would expect the game to start here, right? Um... You expect the game to start with the whole uh, sports festival stuff. Actually, this is the last thing you unlock in the story mode, because you actually start after it. And Deku's learning his abilities, you know, you go through all this, you fight Stain, uh... You f fucking you fight Stain, you have the Season 3 stuff, with the muscular, and like, and like, going to rescue Sasuke, I mean Bakugo, my bad. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways. Uh, you know, the fight, and it ends with the fight with uh, all, uh, all Might and All for One, right? And then with All Might going like, you're next, Deku, or whatever, right? And then after that, you unlocked, for some reason after that, you unlocked the sports festival stuff, which is the part you actually really want to play, because, come on, don't you think that would be awesome? Um, so, let me just, let's start with the sports festival stuff. This is a cutscene, quote-unquote cutscene. Let's just show it or whatever. There's no subtitles for this game whatsoever besides for the actual, th what, three in-game cutscenes they have for this fucking game. Everything else is, there's no subtitles for that and like, there's no subtitles for like, the actual in-game stuff, right? By the way, look, this is how basic this fucking game is, right? I'm gonna click auto, right? They take, they fucking, they do this voiceover shit, um... Which, you know, I don't speak Japanese, 
but I'm pretty sure none of these voice lines are new whatsoever. I'm pretty sure all these voice lines are just ripped from the anime, just like the fucking screenshots they use for these comic panels. They're ripped for the anime, and then there are some comic panels where they use the in-game, like, the in-game models. Which is like, okay, what was the point of doing that if you weren't going to make actual cutscenes, right? But look at this. It's like, man, this is how you get your story throughout the game. This is literally how you get your story throughout the game. And it's the most, like, bare-bones basic thing ever. There's, like, no work put into this whatsoever. Actually, let me take that back. I hate saying no work put into it because even the... Even, like, the smallest thing you might do can take, like, a million hours when it comes to the creative things, but it's, like, it's so fucking disappointing, right, for this game, and it's, like, you want My Hero Game to come out, and you want it to start off strong. Technically speaking, I think this is the actual, like, maybe third My Hero Game that exists. I know, I'm not sure if there's another one before this, but I know there's a fighting game that came out for Japan on the 3DS for My Hero, and it's basic and stupid and it sucks. Um, but yeah, it's like, I hope you like this, right, for your story. Did you guys think it would be like the Naruto Storm games? Did you honestly think that? Because it wasn't. Even though the show will probably become bigger than Naruto at some point. Maybe it's bigger than Naruto now. Who knows? That's probably not true because I know there's some people who watch Naruto, but they don't want to watch this show because they think it's too basic. Like, what the fuck? Are you, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I hate to sit here and rage about anime because anime is anime and they're all stupid. But, <laughs> how many people did I make angry there? They're all stupid. But, um... It's like, what the fuck? So that's your story thing. Uh, when you actually start story mode, you're gonna get this. You're gonna get this. One of one of three cutscenes throughout the game. Literally one of three cutscenes. There's this cutscene. There's the uh, stain thing where like Deku and Ida, they're like, if only I can use my arms. If only I can use my legs. Right, and then after that, uh, the last cutscene is you coming back to this scene with a little bit more into it. But yeah, it's like, I don't know, this game is both like, it's awesome, but at the same time it's really disappointing. Because you look at these character models and you're like, wow, for the art, for the style that they're going for with this game, these character models are kind of really spot on when you think about it, right? But, um, but it's just like, you can see, I don't know what it was. I don't know if someone came in the office and said, we're making a My Hero game, let's go all out with what we can do. And then the next day someone came in and said, yeah, we have like five months to make it. And they just fucking did this shit. Right? It's kind of disappointing. It's kind of disappointing. Alright, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> I had to like, like, I was just looking at my recording and I realized, I was like, maybe the game audio is a little too loud. Um, so I just went and went to go fix that real quick. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, this game is just... I like it. It's fun. And, you know, there's a air, like, damn it. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know, like, 100% I cannot, like, sit here and tell someone to go out and buy this game for 60 fucking dollars. You are insane to do that. You're either someone like me, who's like, fuck it, I know this game is gonna suck, but I'm gonna buy it anyways. Kind of like what I did with Sonic Forces, like, I did that on my own merit. I was like, this game's gonna suck. That's why I bought the collector's edition of Sonic Mania, and I didn't buy the collector's edition of Sonic Forces. I don't even know if Sonic Forces has a fucking collector's edition. But, um, yeah, it's like, uh, game, why, why, why? It's like, why are you so fucking basic? But, you're so basic to everything that you do. 
Damn it. But uh, let's uh, show some stuff off. Let's show some actual fighting. Now, you have two styles. Normal, which is your uh, masher buttons all you want. And manuals, which is you actually, uh, you know, do your combos yourself a little bit. But at the same time, it's like, what's the difference? Because they both feel like I'm mashing buttons, right? It doesn't feel like a difference. But anyways, uh, let's show this. I'm going to do normal just for the sake. Actually, no, fuck it. I'm going to do manual. I like manual. We're going to do that. And just show off the gameplay, right? Of course, I'm pretty sure you guys want to see other characters and stuff. I also have all the DLC characters. So, wow, did I just have a stroke? Damn it, I couldn't speak. I also have all the DLC characters so far, right? Which, I also see there's some people that are complaining about that. Where it's like, the game just came out and there's three DLC characters. And it's like, it's like, A, the game came out in October. Like, October, what, 16th or something like that? B... Two of, the two of the DLC characters, one of them is shoot style Deku, which is fucking free, so be happy, asshole. Uh, third, I mean third, what am I saying? <laughs> third. Yeah, third, yeah, I was on third. Third, fucking, one of them is Endeavor, who was a pre-order, so if you didn't pre-order, yeah, you're gonna have to spend three dollars. Okay, so what? And fourth, one of them is uh, Gale Force. Which, uh, what's his name? Uh, man, I don't play as Todoroki at all in this game. Ah, oh, fuck. Are you kidding me? Did you straight up hit me with the plus ultra already? That wasn't even a plus ultra, was it? Man, I barely play as Todoroki. Let me just shut my fucking mouth real quick and just try and realize what I'm doing. Sorry, I'm not speaking. I should really be speaking. I just started playing the game. Um, <laughs> man, I don't play as Todoroki. I mean, not Todoroki. Why did I just say that? I feel stupid now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I meant Tokoyami. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, I don't play as Tokoyami. Uh-oh. Ring outs. Ring outs are a thing. Ring outs are a thing. Rings out. Ring outs are a thing. Get me out of here. Good job, Dark Shadow. Maybe I should have chose a different fight to get into. That one kind of sucked. Usually when I play this game, I play as uh, Bakugo, because Bakugo's the best. Duh. It's fun to be a Bakugo. Um, I usually play as Bakugo or like... Yayorozu. I win. What? I can't believe it. Yeah, but look at this. It's like, all these are screenshots from the fucking anime. And it's like, come on. Put in a little bit more work. And, and to, like, kind of hide that, they put in, like, this weird dotted filter in the background of it all. Like, these are screenshots from the fucking anime. Just fucking let them be screenshots, then, if, if you're gonna be that basic about it. But, um... Damn. Damn, just... It's such a basic ass game. Oh man. All right. Uh, but <laughs> enough of me saying that. Let me uh, let me see. All right. Yeah. You also have Todoroki versus Deku and Todoroki versus I uh, Ida. All right. Let's uh, show off. Let's at let's at least show uh, this off. Actually, no. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah. Let me do that. I haven't played this game in a while. But at least I somewhat know what I'm doing as Bakugo, right? Um, yeah, but I, I'm going to stop. Man, I'm going to stop harping on the game and, and like, how basic it is. And let, let's, start, let's start by talking about the good things. So, at least the sound quality and the soundtrack of the game is somewhat... Mm, somewhat. Well, let me see. The audio in the game is good. 
you know, it is good audio, not gonna lie. Uh, the soundtrack, there, nothing stuck out to me yet. It's not memorable, but it is good when it's playing, right? And, uh, see, this is what I mean, like, they fucking use character models sometimes, and I don't know why. Um, but, um, shit, it's so hard to, like, talk about the good of this game. Because it's just, all the basicness is just weighing it down. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> I can't put it into words. I'm trying, I'm trying. Alright, so the soundtrack. Uh, the soundtrack, it's good when it's playing, but nothing's like, nothing makes me want to look it up and listen to it. It's a complete, like, it's a complete, like, I don't know why they didn't just put, like, You Say Run or anything like that into the game or whatever. I don't know if it was because of rights or something like that, right? But, like, oh, fuck, you can't eat Todoroki. Actually, I think this is the hardest fight in this fucking story mode, actually, so why'd I do it? Yeah, because Todoroki just spams that shit. And then he fucking freezes you. Yeah. But, you can obviously see it here, like, oh fuck. I almost got ringed out. You can obviously see it here, that there's, like, some floatiness to the game, right? And if, like, you're not using the dash button, you just run around like this, and it would feel slow as fuck, right? I gotta be careful with Todoroki here. Motherfucker, I hit the ice like a dumbass. Be careful of that fucking fire, too. Oh, wow. Alright. Yeah, he used the counter move on me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Todoroki? Maybe I can get him on the ring out. Come on, follow you, bitch. Block. Come on. I barely block in this game. That's something I should do more. I'm gonna get my ass handed to me by Todoroki. He has a level two. Are you kidding me? Motherfucker got to got to level two. Oh, there's no blocking in the air. Fuck, are you kidding me? Yep, I'm dead. I'm dead. Good job, Todoroki. You did it. That's not gonna hit. Oh wow, it did. Huh, I'm surprised. Like, the game is fucking fun to play, I'm not gonna lie. It really is fun to play, but there's just like- Oh, shit. There's just like some dumb shit, like, right right here where I get like, some damage. From fucking- Okay, how'd you break that block? Damn it. Where I get like, extra damage from Todoroki's fire and shit. But it's like, come on, motherfucker. Damn it. Yeah, but let me stop talking about the game. Kind of let the game speak for itself a bit. Let's talk about the fucking anime. First of all, first of all, season three, as amazing as it is, it went way longer than I fucking thought it would be. I thought it would stop, like, I thought it would stop, like, right after the, uh, I'm sorry, spoilers, my bad. I'm gonna put that in the beginning of the video. Potential spoilers for this fucking, well, potential. 100% spoilers for the anime. Um... Come here, Todoroki, you bitch. Did you just ring yourself out? Are you kidding me? Huh. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay. Wow. Good job, Todoroki. Good job. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> You fucking serious? All right, well, uh, huh? That's my heroes want justice. Anyways, uh, season like I was saying, fuck, god damn it, Todoroki, are you kidding me? Season three went way longer than I thought it would. I thought it would stop right after the whole Bakugo versus Deku thing, because because that's like such a perfect stopping point, right? But it went like a little bit longer than that, like. Actually, when did it actually stop? Let me think. Oh yeah, it stopped right after they introduced the big three. When they introduced those guys. And oh my god. If you read the manga, 
Speaking of the manga, like, next month is the release of Volume 16, which is with, uh, Fat Gum and Kirishima's fight. Holy shit, it's so good. If you read the manga, you know Season 4 is gonna be good. So far, fucking, I feel that Chisaki, uh, the next main villain, is, like, one of the best. And then after that, you basically get a character who is 100% Nanako from Persona 4. You get Eri. She's fucking awesome. She is awesome. I love her. She's the best. And not only that, you get a glimpse of what it's like to see Deku go 100 fucking percent. But even that has its own repercussions on his body. And you get to see that happen as well. It's fun. Like, it's so good. Season 4 is so good. You also get to see, uh, I, I'm saying season 4. Uh, the, like, the future stuff that's gonna happen in season 4 is so good. And, like, the seasons are getting longer and longer, so I don't even know where it's gonna stop from there. Fucking, like, you get so many things. You, you also get, like, a new form of Nomu. It's fucking crazy. It's great. I haven't even watched the My Hero movie yet. Like, the My Hero Academia movie yet. But, like, holy shit. So, let's get out of the story mode. That takes way too fucking long. I've been, like, what, sitting here for 20 minutes? Fucking, uh, let's go... To, I want to go to mission mode, but once you choose your characters, you can't really, you can't really change them for a while. Um, so I'm just gonna go to local match. Like, that's like the fastest way to show off the characters and stuff. Really, like even arcade mode takes too long and stuff like that to like show off all these characters. So, uh, we're gonna have the sidekick CPU strength. I'm gonna put that to uh, five, four, five is the biggest, really. Okay, well, I'm going to put it to four, because I don't want me to get my ass beat 100%. Uh, three rounds. Uh, do I want to do three rounds? Let's do two? Let's do two. What is it, like, best of two, best of three? Whatever. Uh, sidekicks, yes. All right. Um, select character is literally the next thing on the menu. Okay, that's weird. Anyways, like I was saying earlier, DLC characters... Uh, De Deku shoot style, basically season three Deku, um, where he like realized that kicks are always cooler than punches. So you fucking, you know, shoot style Deku is pretty cool. Fucking uh, Endeavor pre-order. If you didn't pre-order, you buy him for three dollars, maybe three fifteen, because fucking now PlayStation Plus is taking t uh, PlayStation Plus. My bad. But the PlayStation Store is taking taxes now, which is which was, uh, it's not weird, but I was just like, wow. At least the taxes are less than what the fuck Nintendo takes. I don't know why the hell Nintendo takes like, what, $10 of tax or whatever? It's fucking dumb. Um, and then the latest character, Gale Force here, fucking uh, Yoroshi. Like, he's... I, I played him in the training mode. He's pretty cool, actually. You know, and of course, everyone has their little nods to the anime and stuff they do. So, let me actually start off... Because... How am I going to show off all these fucking characters? Well, let's start with the popular ones. Let's start with Season 1 Deku, right? We're going to have the team of those guys, and then we're going to have them versus Team uh, Bakugo, <laughs> which are all these jobbers, right? Um, you have, so far, I don't know if there's been, like, new... I know there's been, like, missions you can buy for, like, story mode or whatever, for like a dollar or whatever there's like two of them that exist now i'm not sure if that comes with new stages so right now you have grand torino's place the you know a ua building the training facility not training facility you know uh, the gym the classroom here's the training facility uh ua arena the league of villains hideout uh former normal hangar when they destroyed it and shit when fucking all for one destroyed it and beat best genius's ass within like two seconds of course nighttime secret base and daytime secret base where where coda and his awesome ass hat are and then the beast forest and uh beast forest at night where most of season three takes place most of season three yeah a good chunk of season three where they're at the summer camp and stuff and then you have hosu city night and hosu city day and then you have the alleyway where they fight uh stain so i'm gonna one of my favorite stages is just nighttime for this because it also has Dobby's fire effect in the background, which is blue fire is so cool. The only thing that's cooler than blue fire is like pink fire because pink is an awesome color that everyone loves. Pink is so awesome that it let Kirby live. <laughs> Man, I feel so bad. I feel so bad and stupid that I didn't record like 
anything for that Smash Direct because I was flipping the fuck out when I saw that goddamn that like that story trailer, the spirits trailer, and like Kirby's like flying on the goddamn warp star and he gets away and I'm like, oh shit. Shulk sees the future, he's like, oh fuck. Yeah, but uh Deku. You have if I can fucking get Bakugo. Uh, let me show a thing. There's some characters like Deku, where you use your core, right, and you hold it, you saw that little green thing that happened, you charge it up, and then you get a stronger variant of it. Uh, there are also things that you can do like that, if Kirishima didn't hit me, god damn it, Kirishima. Alright, come on, Bakugo, you little bitch. Oh, fuck. Wow. I'm sorry, Ida. And then, once you have enough... Oh, God. You can build up your plus ultra two. And you get your long-ass anime, like, ultimate ability. Plus Ultra! Now, what's really cool about this is that... Uh, one thing I want to show off is that they did pay some attention. Some attention. They paid a lot- Ah, oh, come to you bitch! Let me get out of there. Uh, damn it! There's no blocking in the air. That really fucks me up. Alright. They paid, uh, some attention to detail when it comes Ow. When it comes to the game, because you have. Come here, you bastard. Ow! I forgot you can charge up your fucking quark ability, Bakugo, you bitch. I blocked that. Come on. Oh, fuck. Uraka, help me. Really? Come on, she hit you with the gravity, fool. Wow, Bakugo's fucking me up, I just realized that. Ow, Kaminari! Jackass? Ow! Okay, that hurts. Anyways, damn it, I, I'm getting so into the game that I'm forgetting to fucking talk. Uh... Yeah, but fucking season four is gonna be great. There's a bunch of shit coming, and then like after the whole stuff with Chisaki, you have like the what the like the what uh three volumes that focuses on Gentle and La Brava. Fucking, I remember when I first saw those. Are you kidding me, Bakugo? What the hell is that? I remember when I first saw those motherfuckers. I was like, oh my god, they can't be the next like main villains. They suck compared to Chisaki. But then like, I'm like. In order to make them a little bit better, fucking, you have to have, like, at least show me, like, a quark that's crazy good, right? And then Gentle's fucking quark is crazy, and then well, Brava's quark is way more crazier, right? Uh, but here's what I mean by, like, uh, attention to detail here. Like, how I use my level 1 and stuff, and I kind of went full cowling a little bit. And you can see that uh, <laughs> the poor Deku uses his uh, smash, fin uh, smash effects and his uh, fucking like finger flicks and shit. He gets the little, you know, he gets purple fingers and shit because his bones are broken or whatever. Constantly break my bones. All right, change characters. Um, but yeah, it's like I wonder what Gentle's fucking weird thing is that he does his quirk, and it's like, oh, it's called elasticity. I can make any surface I want elastic. That includes air. And you just see him bouncing all over the fucking place. I'm like, yo. I'm like, what the fuck, man? It's crazy. Anyways, uh, we saw a little bit of Todoroki earlier. Let me show some of the other people that people want to see. So let's start with popularity. Jiro, of course. Um, Yairozu. And then here you go. 
And then we saw a little bit of Tokoyami, so we're gonna do, uh, I don't know. We're gonna do Himiko, Dobby, and Muscular. And we're gonna go to uh, the alleyway in Hosu City. That's what we're gonna do. Now, unfortunately, there's like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show every single fucking character in this game. Because that is kind of a hefty roster. I mean, not as hefty as Smash Brothers Ultimate, but it is kind of a big roster. Way bigger than I thought it would be, to be honest. Because I remember when they first showed the game off, it was like, here's the characters we have. And I'm like, and you know, everyone does that weird thing where like, like how the Naruto games were coming out. I love her intro. It's so, it's so stupid. She just skips in. Um, yeah, it, like when they show the roster, it did, um, like it made people do that thing that they did with like the Naruto games back in the day where it's like, I wonder what characters are going to come out. Here's the character roster, like ideas for, um, for, uh, my hero. And it's like. It's like, they're going to put in uh, unknown character number one. They're going to put in Shinzo because he's, a, because he's a great character that has a great character arc. And it's like, what do you mean? Like, fucking the two episodes that he's there for? <laughs> Technically, he's there for more episodes. Um, okay, I was hoping that hit her. Um... Man, I wish, I wish Jiro used her fucking quirk like that in the show. Because the only time you actually see her, like, plug her quirk into, like, someone, like her earphone jacks or whatever, is, like, for comical effect when she's, like, bullying uh, Mineta or whatever. Look at that pose. They know she's a waifu. They know she's number one. Coolest girl ever. Um, <laughs> I love Jiro. I love Jiro. Zero reminds me of Raven from Teen Titans. Ow! Yayorozu, help me! You were supposed to fucking get me out of there, Sue. You didn't do shit. Alright, so you see how Himiko is like glowing pink there? If she uses her quirk ability now, she can switch. And by switch, I mean she can basically become Jiro for a little bit. Get the fuck out of here, monster, you little bitch. Ow! Stop sucking my blood. Ow. Wait, what? Oh, yeah! And, like, her- when she switches to you, her quirk abilities get replaced with your fucking- with your assist characters. That's so cool. Because it's like, your characters get confused with, uh, with who's who, so they start listening to her a bit. Ow. Alright, that should hit. 100%. Damn right. Good job, Jiro. You're awesome. Man, there's just there's so much I want to talk about with my hero that, like both like, one I'm having fun with the game, so I forget to talk, and then two there's just so much to talk about that I don't know what to talk about. It's like, damn it, <laughs> it's so hard. This is a double-edged sword here. I can't I can't deal with it. Um, let me actually think. What would be a, a nice little topic to talk about? Well, well, one thing for sure is like with the whole next arc that's gonna happen, besides Kirishima getting his ult like his fucking awesome ass fight that he has, being a fucking true ass hero he is. Man, fucking Kirishima, you're cool. <laughs> you're fucking cool. Um, all right, let me actually give a proper showing off of Sue because I know she's really popular and people want to see her. Uh, let's have Gran Torino with us and, I don't know, Aizawa, I guess. And then we're going to be fighting who's someone who's, like, really popular that people probably really, really want to see. Well, they probably want to see Shoot Style Deku, right? Shoot Style Deku. Uh, well, we had Kaminari as an assist already, so let's have let's have All Might and then Oh my goodness! I love it. And, uh... Stain, right? Man, Stain is such a good idea as a character. Because, first of all, he's just like a fucking spawn villain. Uh, 
what area should we head to? Let's head to the League of Villains, because people probably want to see that too. Um, Stain is like such a good idea of a character, because it's like... It's like, when's the last time you've seen someone go like, hey, I have this villain, and he does the weird I lick your blood thing. But this time it's like, no, Stan actually has a fucking reason to do that shit because that's how his quirk works. It's fucking weird. It's quirky. It's weird. It's awesome. Speaking of quirky, here's Froggy Girl. Everyone wants to fuck her. It's great. <laughs> here's Kermit the Frog, female version. Everybody loves her. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Sue probably was like... When the show started, I was like, look at this waifu, Sue's awesome. But then later on, I was like, you know what, Jiro's kind of better. What are you doing, Deku? Ow, besides kicking my ass. Are you kidding me? Uh-oh. kidding me? Come on! Stop running all over the damn place. Ow! Grand Torino, help me! You just gonna sit there and watch me get my ass handed to me? Damn, Deku, you're fucking me up. I can't even, like, move or anything. On. Her, uh, her fucking plus ultra is like arrow K. There you go, you fucking shoot style bitch. Man, the camera's all over the fucking place. Ow. All right. Jackass. Thank you. Where'd you go, Isola? I fucking called you and you didn't come out. At all. Ow, what the fuck happened there? Grand Torino, fuck him up. There you go. I'm not even talking that much. I'm having way too much fun with the game. <laughs> Alright. Fuck. Yeah, but like I was saying earlier, fucking... When I first... Like, got into my hero. I was like, oh, look at Sue. She's weird and cool. She's great. I like her. She's great. And then later on, I was like, oh my god, Jiro's the fucking best. She's fucking awesome. Just look at her. She's all into, like, rock and shit. I got a trophy? Stage riding her? What? Is that a reference? <laughs> Is that a reference to something? Should I know that? Um... Yeah, but then I was like, Juro's so fucking amazing. And then after that, I'm watching season three and reading the manga and shit. And I'm just like, is that, is that Bakugo's mom? <laughs> Why is she so cool? <laughs> Bakugo's mom's cool. Anyways, let's show off Gale Force here. Fucking, because I can't pronounce Hiroshi at all. Uh, Tomura, and then, he didn't really call All Might, did you? I didn't really see All Might in that fight at all. I saw... Oh, I didn't think about it. Wow. Alright. Uh, sure. Random. Why not? Oh, Tomura. Cool. Stan and Todoroki. I mean, Todoroki. I keep saying Todoroki. Tokoyami. My bad. I'm so sorry. Fucking, uh... Yeah, let's head to the former hangar site. Stage is way bigger than it should be. <laughs> Stage is actually really fucking big. Yeah, so I barely played Azure. I don't fucking know, like... I don't know anything with him.
it's going to be a little difficult to play as him. Actually, am I playing as his normal mode, or am I playing manual? I don't know. I can't tell. Can't tell. The difference is not really, not really that apparent. Anyways, see, no subtitles whatsoever. I wish I knew what you guys were saying. Court. Oh fuck. So, fucking Tomura here, he can fuck your shit up. He also has a goddamn, uh, insta-kill ability in this fucking game. Like, every character has, like, some kind of weird ass... What the hell just happened with that camera? That was weird. Every character has some sort of, like, weird ass, like, extra ability that they can do or some shit. For example, Yoroshi here, he can float. Look at that. that you son of a bitch all right oh shit so i wish i can control the direction that thing went but i can't stop jumping all over the place bastard fuck grabbing me and throwing me like i'm your fucking girlfriend or some shit wow he is fucking me up are you kidding me What the hell was that? What was that, Tomura? I mean, not Tomura. What was that, Yoroshi? There's jet damage. I just realized that. Ha, <laughs> you got hit with the boomerang. You little bitch. Uh oh, I'm dead now. Yeah, there's definitely some times where like I'll hit I'll hit the my opponent with a fucking attack and then I wanna chase after them, but like there's like some sort of like delay or some shit. I got good range on that. Oh. Fuck. can't see what's going on with the fucking camera. Are you serious? Don't get up. <laughs> I told you not to get up. Ow. All might. That was a better round this time. So much random shit happening on the screen. So much! Come on, stop running around, Tomura. Come here. I'm trying to get him. Fucking Tokoyami, piece of shit. All right, there we go. I got you. Should 
show off my fucking ultimate attack. This shit. See, I wish I had subtitles so I knew what the fuck they were saying. And he's like, thank you so much for the battle! He's like, I love your passion. It's beautiful. Such a weird ass fucking character. Quirky ass motherfucker. And of course, whenever you get that fucking S rank, you got everybody in their Japanese voice saying, saying their most horrible English ever, going like, amazing! Amazing! Fucking Overwatch and that shit. Alright, who do we show off next? Where I. Welcome to the video where I don't talk that much. Um. I guess it'll be fun to show off Kaminari, right? I really want to show off every fucking character. Uh. I'm gonna show off Kaminari, and then I wanna show off Muscular a little bit. I also wanna show Tomura's fucking insta kill ability. Uh, I don't care who I have on my team, right? Uh, I didn't mean to choose Himiko. There we go. I thought I chose Himiko, but the game stutters a little bit when you like. When you start up the game and you go to uh, switch your character too fast, the game will stutter a bit. I don't know why it does that, but then later on it gets used to it. Uh, let's try. What stage? I, I really don't like Grand Tori Nose Blaze because it looks weird to me. It's just like, it's like it's way bigger than it should be. Um, but let's try Grand Tori Nose Blaze. Get it out the fucking way. It's my least favorite stage in this fucking game, to be honest. Um, I should show off the uh, secret base. Coda's little secret base. Because that's cool. I also like the little, uh, the little chibi-ass Uraraka they have just hanging here. Uraraka Ochaka. Hakuna Matata, you know, Ratatata, <laughs> Maracas. Man, Kaminari is so cool. I really hope, like, I, I, I should read, like, more of the manga right now because I'm kind of falling behind on it, but I really hope we get to a point where he can use his abilities without, without, like, short-circuiting his fucking brain. Alright, so with Kaminari here, <laughs> as I just did, you kind of got to end the fight quick because you definitely will short circuit yourself. So he's kind of like... There we go. Oh shit, I fucked up. Damn it! Help me, Jiro! Alright. There we go. Now I'm supercharged. I'm a Pikachu boy. There we go. I didn't even get to show off his ultimate yet. <laughs> I'm doing my little fucking, my little thumbs up. Kaminari's cool. Pikachu boy is awesome. I like you, Pikachu boy. Amazing! Amazing! Of course. Alright, change characters. Man. My Hero is such a, such a basic but fun game as well. It's nice to just sit here and just, just you know, be, be a superhero for a bit. Alright, so, since that was a quick fight, I'm pretty sure I can get Tomura in here real quick. Uh, I had Grand Tori now as my partner. Did I? Dobby was a partner before. I think everyone got showed off to some capacity here. Of course, I didn't show them off as, like, playables, but I mean, like, eh, right? Uh, let's put Endeavor here, because I'm pretty sure people want to see a little bit of Endeavor. And let's head to the secret base at night because nighttime is the best time in the world. It's awesome. 
Yeah, but Tomura, he has, like, a fucking insta-kill ability. I'm not sure if they, like, since the last time I played, I'm not sure if they patched it or not, or something like that, or fixed it up, or made it harder to do. But it's, it's kind of really easy to do. You can, you can even fucking combo into it. Like, it's fucking bad. Alright, so let's skip these intros, besides Endeavors, because Endeavors. We haven't seen Endeavors intro yet, right? There you go. Alright, cool. So what I like to do with Tomra is I like to get up in there, right? Get somebody. If you hit somebody with the... The actual combo is like, what? This, they get down, they get back up, they get hit by that, and then you grab them. Bam. Count one, right? Three. Let's see if I can get it off. All right? So that's three, right? Oh, come on, you son of a bitch. It's also an a fucking unblockable, so it's crazy. You're, are you really doing this? You're really doing this right now. Bam! Two. All right. Dobby. Come on, motherfucker. I can't even block in the air. That sucks. Are you kidding me, Endeavor? Are you really about to murder me here? Come on. Come on. I'm dead. Bam. One. Can I get it off one more time? Dead. See? If you get that off a total of four times, no matter how much health they have, they're just fucking dead, right? That's your insta-kill right there. One, two, three. One. <laughs> Let the count begin, motherfucker. Let the count begin. Ah, that fucking spear. Oh, fuck. Two. Right. Oh, man. Three. Now I can do it one more time and kill him, but I want to show off Tomura's uh, ultimate since I have it. Oh, I hope you didn't block it, you bitch. I hope you didn't block it. There we go. The laugh is actually really good. Alright. Now you're dead. <laughs> you're such a fucking bitch. Fucking insta-kill ability. Get out of here. What the hell? Sudden. Game over. This. Amazing. Aww. Excellent. I didn't get amazing. I didn't get his weird, creepy, amazing that he does, right? <laughs> Man, the insta-kill ability. Get the fuck out of here. But that's what I mean. Like, each character has their own, like, weird little thing that they can do. Like, for example, Ida has, like, if you use his level 1 and it hits, fucking, uh, even if it doesn't hit, you get, like, the, uh, Respiro Extend you get that side effect for like a little bit and then you basically run super faster and stuff like that. Super faster. Yep, that's a word. Alright, let's actually show muscular off properly. Right? Cool. And then... Oh, all Might. And uh, let's head to... We already saw this because I did the story mode a bit. Um, yeah, let's head to the city. I didn't show the training facility or the gym or UA or the classroom. Uh, but yeah, let's head to a daytime hostess city, urban district area. All right. Show that off. Man, fucking... It's, like, again, like I said, it's so hard to sit here and tell someone to buy this game for, like, fucking $60. It's like, are you kidding me? Why would you, why would you do that? 
but the game is really fun to play and i mean if you're gonna play the game online with friends and stuff or like even like couch like sit to sit on the same couch and like play a game with a friend fucking this is gonna be a fun game to play with them especially if you're doing it all for friendly fun and you're not being real competitive because again this is an anime arena fighter think think about it like uh like j star versus right so <laughs> you thought motherfucker you fucking thought i can grab your ass come here That grab is so violent. Anyways, with, um... Wow, I just realized your dash sucks. But I think it gets better if I use his cord. So, just like the anime, Muscular has his, like, muscle fiber shit that he does. Guys, Rosu, get her... Get him off me. So... Uh, triangle is, like, a quick way to use it. Alright. Cool. Cool. Alright, it's like a quick burst, but I know if you hold down, what, circle? No, not circle. Is it triangle? Ow. Basically, I remember... There you go. You get your full use. Oh my god, all oh my, you're about to kill me. Oh, get him off of me! Get him off of me! All for one, come on! Wow, you suck. Get the fuck out of here. What you doing? All Might? What you doing? Hey, remember when people were making videos and they were like, Is Muscular's Bakugo's father? And then the next episode of My Hero is all like, Here's Ned Flanders. His fucking Bakugo's dad. Alright. Come here, you motherfucker. Yeah, my dash sucks. Ow. Jackass. Come here. Get him, Yaya Rosa. Alright, hopefully this hits. Show it off. There you go. Show me blood! <laughs> I don't need subtitles to know that he's screaming that. And then you have the anime ass fucking bulk up, right? Oh no, he doesn't? Oh, they just end it there? I thought he bulks up at the end of that. Cool. Well, come here so I can grab you. Like this. Oh, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Thank you. <laughs> I love when all my lose. He's like, holy shit. Man, I'm getting cooler vibes from <laughs> from DBZ fighters. Yeah. Fucking heck, <laughs> be cooler. Starting line. Oh, that's a new trophy. Man, you get trophies like a motherfucker in this game. It doesn't matter. Like you can platinum this game real easily, like 100% if you fucking really want to. All right. So muscular's cool, right? Uh, let's show off Stain because everybody loves the villains. Uh, Stain's kind of weird a little bit. A little bit. Um, how long is this, uh, sorry, all my, I didn't mean to. All for one. Hopefully he can show his abilities and shit. Uh, let's head to the front of UA. Man, this video has reached the hour mark. <laughs> Alright, uh, after Stain, I kind of want to show, I really want to show off, uh, Kirishima. I know there's still a bunch of characters who didn't fucking get shown off properly, but I don't want this video going too long because people have lives, you know? Um, <clears throat> Stan is so fucking cool. The guy who just has the power to talk when he's in a weakened state, just yelling to the sky like with his ribs punctured and shit. Not ribs. His lung is punctured by his ribs. And he's all like, all oh, you guys are pussies. Fucking, I ain't gonna let none of y'all kill me. There's only one person I'm letting kill me. That person is all might. So, when you hit the person with the second knife there, you now have the ability, for a while, 
it just wore off because the knife disappeared. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, motherfucker? Do you really think? Do you really think? Shut the fuck up. So, wherever the second knife goes, when you press triangle button again, you fucking dash to them. So that's your ability. Uh, Stain does have his little, uh, his, like, blood licking ability that he does. But that's only, that's only tied to his, his, uh, level one plus ultra. So, let me hit confirm into that real quick. He licks the blade, right? And then you get a free combo off of that. Oh! Are you kidding me, Deku? Alright. See, wherever that second knife goes, bam, I'm there. Oh, fuck. Man, I love how Stain, like... Stain uses his quirk, right? In the show and shit. But, I mean, like... He's, like, just such a good fighter that he doesn't even need to use his quirk half the fucking time. <gasps> I ran into that shit. Are you kidding me? Ow. Motherfucker. Get that suplex in there, boy. How's it feel to get grabbed up? Oh, I try to fucking teleport to that shit. There you go. Get out the way real quick. Uh-oh, he might get me. He might get me here. Hope that hits. Yeah! No! Take that shit, you bitch. <laughs> Magic pixel for the win. Stan is so fucking unnecessarily cool. <laughs> Amazing. 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 <laughs> Your horrible anguish. It it brings joy to my heart. Okay. Uh shit. I really want to show off Kirishima because he is cool as fuck. He's not my favorite character. My favorite character is definitely Bakugo. But Kirishima Last fight. We're gonna show him off. Alright. And I have Todoroki here. Right, and we're gonna show off the uh, training facility. Now, of course, there's like a million things they can do with this fucking game. They can add a bunch of shit to it if they want. They can add more characters like fucking Shoji and fucking um, and Seto and fucking um, who else? I don't know. Mostly people from One A. Uh, they can also add, um, like, the pro heroes, like, Best Genus, and fucking Fat Gum with his... <laughs> Fat Gum is so cool! He's so fucking cool! I love him! He's great! Uh, you can add, you can add the Wild Wild Pussycats if you want, or whatever, but, um, yeah. So, I don't know how to play as Kirishima, but I do want to show him off. Kirishima has super armor. Activate his quirk. What are you doing? So, definitely in that place. That place to your benefit, his fucking super armor that he gets. I'm trying to remember. Oh, fuck. 
That grab, so good. Has that distance, he grabs and just beats the shit out of you. Red Riot. Oh fuck, I was hoping to grab him up. Like that. There we go. Get that level 2 in. Make your hair spiky and stab him with it. <laughs> so fucked though. And then of course you got the little anime fucking I'm free! <laughs> he just fucking comes out. He's like, man, good thing, good thing that robot fell on me because if it was anyone else, they wouldn't be able to handle it. And then Tetsu Tetsu shows up. He's like, man, good thing it fell on me. Get grabbed up. Damn it. Kaminari, Tokoyami. Grabbed up. I meant to grab him, but sometimes that, that fucking input is a little irresponsive because it's a, uh, it's a tilt. You gotta tilt the stick and press the button, but sometimes it's irresponsive because it thinks you're trying to, like, move forward instead. Yeah, but, Kirishima, you're awesome. This game, as basic as it is to the bones, it is fun as fuck to play. It's still kind of hard to say to buy the game for fucking $60. Maybe it'll go on sale on Black Friday or Cyber Monday or something. But, uh, yeah, if you can get this game at, like, a good price, I'll probably say the highest that you should ever buy this game for is honestly, like, $40, to be honest. But, um, yeah, fucking, this is a great game. Uh, even if the price, like, like, even if the price kind of doesn't go down... I still hope that it gets enough sales to where they can give, give like, better games for My Hero. Because this one is really fun, but they can do a lot more with My Hero. They can make it really good. And I don't mean, like, those Dynasty Warrior type games. I don't mean that. I mean, like, go all out with it. Fucking have a, have a great fucking just, like, cat like, just a great series of My Hero games. But anyways, um... That's going to be it for this. I don't think I would ever do a full playthrough of this, but, you know, never say never, except for when you just said it then. Uh, so, I really don't know what's going to happen. Maybe I'll do a full playthrough one day, but it's not really worth it. It's like, maybe I'll do it after Season 4. Who knows? Because, fucking, man, you're going to need to talk a lot for this game. But, yeah... Hopefully you guys think the game is good enough to give it a try or maybe borrow it from a friend or, you know, fucking, you know, just keep it, in, keep it in your radar or something like that. But as always, that's all I got to say. You can uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Tell me what you're, uh, tell me what you're looking for, in, uh, looking for, tell me what you're looking forward to in season four of My Hero Academia or even if you're not that far. Just tell me what your, like, favorite part of My Hero Academia in the comments below. I definitely would like to get some, um, conversation started there. And even if you don't want to comment in the section below, in the description, there's a link to my Twitter. You can message me through there. I'll talk about My Hero. I may not be that active on Twitter, but, you know, I'll get to it. <laughs> I'll get to it one of these days. But anyways, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.